Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to import Google Fonts that are not a part of MobiRise. So MobiRise does come with some Google Fonts, but you're actually able, uh, through the Google Fonts API, to add more Google Fonts, um, really an infinite number of them, as long as they're on the Google Fonts uh, website. So what we want to do is we want to style this text right here. And the way that we're going to do that is we need to choose our Google font first. So we'll go to Google fonts. And let's go ahead and choose uh, one of these, a very distinct font, just so that we know. It's called Caesar Dressing. I'm going to review these and take this one off. This is one I was using before. So we're using Caesar Dressing. And so let's go out to the Use page, so you can see there's only one uh, font weight for it, and that's the normal. <clears throat> the one that we're going to use is a standard uh, link. So one of the ways that you import outside resources into an HTML page is by using the link uh, tag. And you put this in the head, of normally in the head of the HTML document between head and the closing head tag. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And MobiRise allows you to do this, to put things into the head tag. So what we'll do is we'll just copy. And we'll go to MobiRise. And I'd like to be able to do this on as a site-wide thing. But unfortunately, at this point, all we can do is buy each page. We can change the head code or you can put something toward the end of the body code like a script tag if you wanted to run a javascript library or something like that so right now all we have is uh you'd have to do this page by page wherever you want this particular font so you can see that we have our font family caesar dressing uh, it's a style sheet and it's text slash css which is the proper way to to call this google font okay that's all we need to do for that. And now we need to go into our code. And my bottom font, or my bottom text is being controlled by this CSS call here. So let's do uh, Caesar dressing. That's all we have to do, font family, and then um, single quotes, the name of the font, the uh, I'm sorry, the comma goes outside of the single quotes, and then you should have a backup just in case some this doesn't work. You know, it's going to display a sans serif font or a serif font or a cursive font, whatever is a system font for them. Let's go ahead and save that. And what I've noticed on this is that you're not going to see anything show up here, but whenever you preview it in the browser, it will actually show up. So let's take a look at it in the browser. And then you can see here that our Caesar dressing font has shown up um, by using the uh, the page level. It's at the page, and then you can use the uh, the gear, and then it's inside the head code. So this is where you want to put um, this is where we want to put your font. So let's say uh, we wanted to have more than one. Let's say we also want to put jockey one and boogaloo <clears throat> so the way you would do that is you would come in here and you would put a pipe and then you would say jockey plus one anytime there's a space in between them you need to put the plus sign and then another pipe and boogaloo so let's do that, and then we'll come back to our text, and then we'll just make a change here to jockey1, no plus sign here, save it, and then we'll take a look again, see if it's changed. Okay, so now, before it was kind of a Greek lettering. But now it's gone to the jockey 
uh, jockey one. Let's see if we can pull that up. Where is it? Okay, so this is it, jockey one. And you can see that that's what we have here. Um, and I'm sure that if I did the other one, Boogaloo, that it would do the same. So if you want to add multiple fonts, it shows you in the Google Fonts um, the API for Google developers that you just do one font and then a pipe, which is uh, on a Windows PC, it's shift and backspace. <clears throat> and then, I mean, uh, backslash. And then you put the second one and the third one. Uh, it says here, when you're requesting multiple fonts for your page, it's fine, but just make sure you don't go overboard uh, because most pages don't load in fonts that you don't need. Uh, also, remember within MobiRise that there are fonts that are already loaded, so you don't want to double load the font. If the font is there, you should be able to call it uh, in some way. And so you shouldn't have to double load the font in the head and then also through MobiRise. So that is how you add extra Google fonts into MobiRise uh, if they're not available you know, through this um, drag-and-drop interface.